This here is our first flip. We bought it six months ago and it went so well we decided to buy another. This is flip number two, a large four level side split on Meadow Road in the north end of Brantford. Bought at $337,000, we hope to sell the property for $415 under a budget of $29,000. This will leave us with a profit of $49,000. The timeline is simple. We gain possession on October 13th and hope to sell the house by January 7th. This gives us exactly 87 days to complete our flip. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's a new life for me And I'm feeling good It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life Mainly a bunch of smaller jobs again today Kind of starting off with doing this edge of this fireplace is the last thing We put these boards on, but I have to run this stuff on the edge to finish it, and you have to use an iron to put it on. Okay, I got these edges of the board on here. Now, I'm going to just be moving on to installing this dishwasher. I got to hook up the electrical at the bottom, it comes from down there, and then the hose is out here it's going to be going into uh, where the sink will be Okay, so that's another appliance installed. Dishwasher is nice and easy. Um, last thing, I'll just be hooking this drain pipe here up to when the sink comes in. Okay, so this is the lower bathroom here. I still have to, I'm going to be putting a mirror here, and then the backsplash behind it. Okay, so mirror is installed in here. Now we're doing this again along uh, the back here of the vanity. Okay, got my first couple pieces on here. Just gonna cut this one, and that'll be the last piece. Okay, so I got it all finished up here. Now the nice thing about this stuff is I can literally, in like a couple hours, um, do the grouting for it. Like it dries, it dries really quick, it's really, really sticky. I just gotta clean up around these edges, and uh, we're good to go. Yeah, I definitely need to go get a haircut. This it's getting long. So I got my haircut, but uh, I am gonna be taking off a bit early. Uh, not really feeling too good today, so I'm gonna call it a day. I'll be back at it tomorrow.
I haven't really recorded too much today, but I've started doing the baseboard on these, uh, these the edge of these stairs here. So this is kind of going up here. Everything still needs to be painted. Um, these all in here need to be painted again. But sometimes these like little projects take a while. Like doing this here, you have to keep cutting the angles. It's a lot of like, it's got a trial and error. Instead of just using like the full pieces, it's best just to like cut small ones and then and then test it out. But uh, we're gonna be doing some of the baseboard here in the laundry room now. Whoa, it's snowing out. Look how cozy that feels. Haven't recorded too much today. A lot of small things to do. Ended up painting a bunch of the trim in the foyer here. And then this lower bathroom where I did the tile yesterday. I just finished grouting it, so it'll have a bit of a white haze, wipe it all off in the end. It's Monday, we're back at it again here, but it snowed like crazy over the weekend. Like, take a look at this. I'm actually the one here today. The old man might join me after work. Basically, I have a big old list of stuff I gotta do. This is kind of the stuff that's gonna be going on throughout the week. It's pretty much the stuff that'll finish off the house completely. Um, a few bigger projects left to do. That's kind of, we have some shower doors you have to put in, the tub doors, I mean. Um, and then a bunch of small jobs. There's still like countertops to come. We don't have to do anything for that. They just install that. And then the next big, one of the last big jobs is, is doing the cabinets to the laundry room. Uh, we should be able to get that all done in one day. So I'm just starting to take the gloss tub doors out of the package there. Got some of it up here. And I'll be working on it. Gotta be installing it in here. Okay, so far I've caught, cut this bottom track so that it'll fit along here. Now we gotta run some silicone along the edge, along here. Put the track down. And away we go. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we'll learn. Okay, so now I have to run a bead of silic clear silicone on the bottom here so that I can stick it to the edge of the tub here. Okay, so both sides of the frame are now actually on. Now I have to install this soft close system, which is right here. And I gotta do that before I put it all on the tub. So I'll do that first. I don't know, I'll follow the instructions, we'll see how it goes. It's probably gonna be an abomination. So I guess I have to cut through this header first, make it the length I want before I can put those, uh, the soft close thing in. This is quite the process. So here's the whole header piece. I got the slow closing at that end. Just putting on the one on this end. It's actually pretty easy. Just I had to drill some holes down here and over here. Then this thing goes over and you screw it in from this top side. Time for me to go get some lunch in a minute, but I've been spending the last little bit installing. Here's the glass doors. They're ready to go on now because I have to install these, these rollers and fasten these to there. So there's two on here, two on here, and then I'm gonna have to try by myself to get it up in the track here. We'll see how it goes. Glass piece number one is in. It's really hard to see, it's really clear glass. Oh, this trick. So I gotta put glass, uh, glass piece number two in. The, uh, this piece of glass has to actually go in second. You gotta put this one over here first. So I took that one out. Uh, gonna put them both up now.
Okay, we're all done in the bathroom here. Look, we got we got this. We got all the glasses in. Frame looks good. Beautiful towel rack thing on here. When you open it up, it's even got slow close. So if you see it hits a certain point. Wait, I'll do it on this one so you can see better. So I close it, hits a certain point, slows down, and then it slowly closes. Watch. And then. It's awesome. So I'm just going to be painting, uh, whoa, I had the hiccups, the bifolds that we installed on the weekend. Oh yeah, I put them in, we installed the, the closet doors. So they were kind of just primed, just like the main doors. Going to paint those, it's going to be a little boring, but I'll kind of show you them. Once I uh, just about to take off, finish painting the bifolds there, but then I also installed this under cabinet light here. So this underneath the kitchen cabinet. So countertops will be on hopefully soon. And I guess good to go for today. That's a Monday. So while we were out this weekend, we also ended up buying the laundry room cabinets down here. So I'll be installing those today, a bunch of other small jobs to do. Got the old man with us, gonna tackle a whole bunch of little stuff. Just get so we got cabinet number one here done. These ones are a bit different than the other ones. These ones have this wood background and they'll have these black doors on them. Okay, we got cabinet number two done. There's one, two, go on to the third one, which is the biggest one. So third cabinet's now done here. So we got them all. That's what's gonna be going along this wall. But I gotta hack off all this old plumbing. So this thing's gonna go. Taking these back, taking these back. That way the cabinets can fit in here and then we'll just redo it all. I gotta take off now to do a shoot. My dad will be working on the finishing up the laundry room. We pretty much got all the cabinets in place. We gotta put on the doors and stuff. Uh, working on kind of getting around those pipes though. So. In the laundry room here when I was gone, the cabinets down here got finished. We're just working on putting the handles on them. And then toe kick up the bottom will have to go on. And then we'll be getting the countertop soon. Okay, so the laundry room's officially ready to go for the countertop. Yep. The cabinet's in and fully secure. Uh, here in the laundry room again, this is where the cabinets that we did earlier ended up doing the baseboard along the perimeter of the room here. So got that done. It's one more thing, getting just down the last few things. Well, that's all for this Tuesday. I didn't really get to show some of the stuff my dad was working on. He, uh, Around that wine fridge that we got, he was kind of creating like a, he was boxing it in. And then there was also a few other things like um, the bathroom upstairs. There's those doors right next to the bathtub and he's kind of just completing those. Just putting doors on them and finishing off the edges. But laundry room's looking good. That was the main thing we wanted to do today. Uh, still coming down. List of like 10 small things we're working on. But that's all. I never really had a chance to show this yesterday, but in this upstairs bathroom, so here's the shower. These doors my dad put on yesterday. So this part's all done now. We still, we still gotta put a little strip right in here, but this bathroom is uh, pretty much complete. A few little things left to do, just like caulk around the edges, and then it's pretty much done though. Oh, and we got some blinds here for, uh, for the bathrooms and the kitchen. Good portion of the day is already kind of here and gone. I've been doing touch-ups, so so far I've done ceiling touch-ups and wall touch-ups. Right now I'm doing trim and door touch-ups. It's a pretty time-consuming process. Kind of needs to be done. I haven't really recorded anything, but it's pretty boring. Like no one wants to watch that. Uh, I'll kind of come in with an update at the end of the day. So today is the last day of week nine here. It's uh, it's Wednesday. Um, this is the final full week that they'll be. Uh, week 10 will consist of like a five day week as I leave on vacation. 
Um, but yeah, we're, we're finishing up the last few details in the house. Some of the major stuff is supposed to come, including like the countertops um, and the garage door. They're not being installed by us, so we have no say. Uh, or well, I, I can't really show me putting them in. Um, so technically we're farther along than it, than it kind of looks. So basically once those kitchen countertops go in, I can do things like the backsplash in the kitchen and then they're putting in the sink even. So all this we're putting in the faucet. So pretty much done. Uh, the house, it's kind of, it's kind of sad, but I'll be, so I'll show week 10 and then I'll show like a final video of the house. It'll be like a final tour that we'll even be using for like the MLS listing when we go to sell it. Um, so it should be interesting. We, we're ex this, this house was exciting. We, there was so much, so much that we did, so much that I learned. Uh, we had Scott here, which was awesome. Hopefully we can get him back here again some more, but we're, we're even starting to look for our next play. Uh, so it's sad to see it all happen to happen. It all, it's, it's, we, it's, what is it, nine weeks? It just flew by, they flew by. But yeah, so I'll be, I'll be recording this, this week's episode. Probably wasn't the greatest. I haven't really got around to editing much of it yet. But I mean, we did, we did kind of a bunch of little stuff, so which isn't really fun to watch. Uh, but yeah, I hope, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far.